violence. Cinco de Mayo celebrations have kicked off across Southern California with block parties, street food and parades. With Cinco de Mayo falling on a Friday, the celebrations of Mexican-American culture will play out through the weekend. And while that has police throughout SoCal beefing up patrols to catch people suspected of driving while impaired, KTLA's Mary Beth McDade spoke with law enforcement in Pasadena about their concerns. Hi, you guys. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Yes, there are lots of celebrations today and throughout the weekend. And there's also going to be lots of law enforcement out and about making sure that everyone celebrates safely. Here on Colorado Boulevard in Old Town, Pasadena, Cinco de Mayo celebrations are getting underway like they are in so many cities around Southern California. Barcelona has been hosting their Cinco de Mayo party since 2003. 12 hour fiesta, 2 p.m. to 2 a.m. Uh, that's how we're doing it we're with a couple of radio stations and, uh, yeah, and tequila and good music. Be it chips and dip or some cervezas and margaritas, Pasadena police want you to enjoy yourselves, but more importantly, get home safely. Cinco de Mayo is a day that people like to come celebrate, uh, come to Pasadena, go to our bars, bars and have a good time, and folks come to come drink alcohol. So we encourage people to come here and, and do that, but at the same time, we want folks to be responsible, uh, plan ahead and do things like uh, get ride share or have a friend who can drive them home. Those at Barcelona echo those sentiments. Uber. Let's get here on an Uber. Uh, designated driver if you can, but let's Uber and uh, drink responsibly. Pasadena police, along with Inglewood PD and LAPD, are just a few of the departments ramping up enforcement today. Well, tonight we're doing extra enforcement. Our traffic section has extra patrols out tonight through grant-funded program uh, DUI saturation. Grant uh, funded by the Office of Traffic Safety. So extra patrols will be out tonight looking for people who are driving under the influence of alcohol and or drugs. After all, you don't want a day of celebrations to turn into tragedy by someone getting behind the wheel under the influence. Well, folks can get injured or even more tragically, people can lose their lives. Whether you're driving the car or you unfortunately hit someone who's crossing the street or a lot of different type of circumstances could occur. And authorities say that with Cinco de Mayo falling out of Friday this year, that celebrations are going to continue into the weekend. I know over at the Rose Bowl, they're having a big celebration tomorrow. It's going to go on throughout the day, a big family-friendly event. So bottom line is go, go have fun with your friends and your family. Just do it responsibly. For now, reporting in Pasadena, Mary Beth McDade. We'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Mary Beth, thank you.